Hi everyone, Pekanese here. Thanks for clicking on my video. Today I thought I would draw some cute little succulents to stick into my bullet journal pages. I have all the supplies and colors I'm using in the description box. So I started off by searching some reference photos of succulents and sketched it out with pencil. I'm using watercolor paper today. I then tested what colors I want to use on some scrap watercolor paper. This is pretty important because you wouldn't want any surprises by going in and painting straight onto the actual paper. I'm using the smallest watercolor brush that I have and just painting the leaves on the succulents. I'm making sure to paint every other leaf first to leave time for others to dry. This allows the watercolor to not merge together and helps the individual leaves stand out. It's also good to mix together a bunch of different greens because nothing in nature is just one color. I'm mostly using watercolors from my Pebeo set but I'm using one Crayola Super Tip color as well. I have these succulents as stickers on my Redbubble page if you wanted to have them as stickers and I also have them as printables on my Etsy shop if you want to print them out. I'm just going to stick these into my bullet journals with double sided tape but you can even use them as little bookmarks if you wanted to. I have the link to my Redbubble and Etsy page down in the description box.
Next, I go back and add some more color to areas that have dried to make the colors darker. I wanted to outline the succulents with my marker so I tested on my spare paper to see if that'll look okay and decided that yes, they do look fine and started going in and adding some prickles and details here and there. with scissors so that it's easier for me to put them in my bullet journal. These were super fun to do and I hope you enjoyed watching me make them. Like I said before, there's links to get these in my description box. Leave a comment down below for suggestions on what little doodles I should do next and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my uploads. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.